Do you have a headache? Do you have sore muscles? Or do you find that your energy levels aren't where they should be? Well, this could be an indication that you are low in iron. Now, the simple solution is to just eat red meat. But how much is required? But before we go on, guys, give the video a like. Now, when it comes to iron, women generally need more than men. Men only require 8 to 10 milligrams of iron every single day. And if you were to have, let's say, 6 ounces of meat, that would easily cover the 8 to 10 milligrams of iron iron that a man would require. Now when it comes to women, especially women that are working out or women that are either experiencing their monthly or if they're going through any type of menopause, that the body requires way more iron because of the fact that you're losing some through bleeding. Uh, also when you're not producing enough estrogen, then your body could be an imbalance there as well. And so for women, you generally require 18 to 20 milligrams. Now, a fit woman that is working out intensely that maybe isn't incorporating red meat into her diet is going to need supplementation and get themselves over 25 to 30 milligrams per day. And the way that iron works is it helps the exchange of oxygen into your muscles. Now, imagine holding your breath. What happens if you hold your breath? Well, you could literally die, right? Like if somebody puts you underwater, you could literally die. And if your muscles aren't getting enough oxygen in them, then the muscles aren't necessarily going to starve and die because you are still breathing. But if they aren't getting the proper exchange of oxygen and encouraging blood flow into the muscles, then the muscles are going to first start to get achy your body's gonna get more worn down, you're gonna be a lot sore, and all of this could add up to getting a headache. And so that's why the majority of women I recommend to do an iron supplement. Now, you can go and get your levels tested, and that's what I would recommend in the first place. Just go and ask your doctor if you, you can get some blood work because you feel like some of your levels aren't right. Go get checked out your vitamin B12, get checked out your hormone levels if they'll, if they'll potentially do that, but also look at your ferrin. So is your iron higher enough? And so when we utilize and when we work out, your body uses iron through this process and you lose some through your sweat. So what happens is we lose iron through the exchange of oxygen into the muscles, but we also lose iron through our sweat. And women lose iron through their period. So if you were able to consume 12 ounces of red meat, then you would get about eight milligrams of iron. And again, most women, especially fit women, are required 20 milligrams or more daily. So you're probably going to have to supplement with iron. Now, one of the things that we do in our belly burn program is to help you establish a routine where you're at least gonna get a nice boost of iron, whether you're vegetarian, vegan, or whether you eat meat. So if you're looking for more guidance on how you can incorporate more iron so that you can get rid of the tiredness, the achiness, and potentially the headaches, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. If you're brand new, let's get you started five days for five bucks. Or if you know somebody that wants to come in and try us out just to get going, get in the environment, send them to our website, www.fitclub.fit. Otherwise, let's build out your next nutrition plan. Let's incorporate some iron into it in the next Belly Burn Challenge. Make sure to email us and let's get you started today.